Hi, I'm Kate from PageFly Landing Page Builder. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the process of creating a Shopify collection page, allowing you to organize and showcase your products in a visually appealing and user-friendly manner. Let's get started to create PageFly collection page. So the first thing we wanna do is head over to the PageFly dashboard, click on Pages tab, click on the Create Blank Page button on the right corner and select Collection in the drop-down menu. Next, you need to assign collection. First, navigate to the left toolbar to open the page assignment modal. You need to select one or many collections for the collection page. You can also assign all collections of your store. For this page, I will assign for the bread collection to introduce your store's collection, you can create the hero banner. First, click on Add Element icon, find Heading. Drag and drop it into the page editor. Adjust the content to describe your collection in general tab. And customize the style in the styling tab to make it more captivating. I will change font family, font size, font weight, and set text alignment as center. I want a short description for my collection so I add paragraph element here. Make changes like what I did. Next, I will add a background image for it like this. Add padding top and bottom to make the hero banner display bigger and adjust the style to enhance its prominence. And here's how it looks. Now, it's time to add products to this collection. On a collection page, you need to show all products of the collection you assigned before. Navigate to the left-hand side, click on the Add Element icon, choose Shopify. Drag and drop the product list into the page. In the General tab, you can choose Auto in Product Source. It will automatically show the collection which has been assigned before. Or you can change to Custom Collection and choose the collection that you want to show. Besides, you have the option to select the layout type, grid or slideshow. Personally, I prefer the grid layout and will be setting the number of items per row to four. Styling it to fit your page's style. And here it is. Besides these sections, you can add other sections like trust badges, testimonials, or you may also like section. Don't forget to take a moment to preview it and check in mobile to adjust responsiveness. If everything looks and functions good, save your page, then publish it. When you check on Live View, you will see the default section. To hide the default section, Let's head to Theme Editor, click on the page settings to go to the Theme Editor, then hide all the default section. After that, click Save to save the change. Check the live view again. Congratulations! You've successfully created a Shopify collection page this is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. Thanks for watching.